Penny Ante was a very popular game that ran from 1979 until 2002 when it was quickly retired, much to the chagrin of many viewers. We finally made it past the dreadful year of 1978, so let's start the new year off on a high note with a great game with great props and even better sound effects. Here we go with 5 fun facts about Penny Ante. First off an honorable mention, a new Penny game has since debuted. Although Penny Ante has been retired since 2002, a new game has since debuted named To The Penny. Here a contestant is handed oversized pennies and must spend them upon giving wrong answers. While the game is considered by some to be a spiritual successor to Penny Ante, I think it's safe to say that Penny Ante was a well-loved game that many fans dreadfully miss to this day, and nothing can truly replace it. But now, the main list. Number 5. The name came from poker. The phrase Penny Ante originated from the great game of poker. It essentially means playing with very, very low stakes. It doesn't necessarily mean you're playing with actual pennies, but the way I play, that's essentially the only way I am not going to be able to lose my shirt. Number 4. That sound effect. The awesome sound effect when Bob presses the price button, like many other sound effects of that era, was actually borrowed and used across many other game shows. Double Dare, the Alex Trebek version, might be the most prominent use of the effect prior to The Price is Right, but it was also used on other shows including Tic-Tac-Doe and The Joker's Wild. It would also come back briefly in the pricing game Vendo Price. When you think Penny Ante, that sound effect might be the first thing that comes to mind. It's just that memorable. Number 3. The Original Rule Set As has seemed to be commonly the case with some games in this era, Penny Ante originally had a different rule set from the one we all know today. In the first five playings, the goal was to find the prices of two grocery items before the total of incorrect guesses reaches one dollar. There were two big differences besides the obvious ones. One is there was a penny catcher in which pennies would fall on the amount of wrong guesses, and two, the board wasn't split into two groups of four alleys, but rather used all eight and had a very 70s era brown and orange color theme. Again, this was very short-lived before the game was regrouped into the version we know today. Number 2. It was retired due to mechanical problems. Penny Ante was a real beast of a set piece. Unfortunately, with it being such a complex piece of art, the game was subjected to many technical malfunctions. It is said that many reshoots needed to happen showing the board working properly on television. In 2002, when the game board was deemed completely unusable for a taping of the show, Penny Ante was subsequently retired. But thanks to the popularity of the game, it was decided later to salvage it. Unfortunately, though... And the number one fact about Penny Ante, although it might not be a fun one, the game was saved, only to finally be killed by nature. Well, fate lent a hand on this one. During the game's 2002 hiatus in which retirement was teased, the game was left out in the rain and irreparably damaged. And although there were plans to build a new version of the set, these plans never came to fruition and the game was permanently retired. When in doubt, let nature decide whether the game lives or dies, you'll get the right answer every time. <laughs>